Wolbachia believe to be one of the most abundant intracellular bacteria, with them having infection rates up to 66%, depending on the arthropod species. When they are inside the arthropod, they infect the reproductive tissues of the host, where they can spread to future generations through vertical transmission. The Wolbachia can only be passed on from mother to offspring, so have developed ways to manipulate the host reproduction for their own benefit. I'll be thinking, how do they manipulate the reproduction of the host? Well, I'm glad you asked and phrased a specific question in the same way I was going to. There are four methods for this, including parthenogenesis, male feminization, male killing, and cytoplasmic incompatibility. Wolbachia-induced parthenogenesis occurs through the induction of diploid in species with a haploid-diploid sex determination system. This form of female bias occurs in the order Hymenoptera, where males are haploid, and hardly surprisingly, females are diploid. Wolbachia through the induction of diploidy turns what should be unfertilized haploid male eggs into unfertilized diploid female eggs. Wolbachia itself may be partly responsible for the haploid diploid system evolving, though it's not known 100% why this system has evolved. Male feminization occurs in Armatidilium vulgar, or commonly known as the pill bug, though wood lice and roly poly are even more common names, so call you if you really like. This one's called Dave. Wolbachia feminizes male wood lice by preventing the androgenic gland differentiation responsible for male development during the embryonic phase. Interestingly enough, most wild populations of wood lice are not infected by Wolbachia, with it being demonstrated that infected females have lower survivability and reduced immunocompetence, but with a greater reproductive investment. Wolbachia that use the mechanism of male killing are found in the arthropod orders Coroptera, Diptera, Lediptera and Pseudoscorpions. To briefly overview the mechanism that causes male killing, Wolbachia interferes with the sex determination, resulting in genetic males becoming feminized and then dying. An extreme example of this occurring is in the blooming butterfly or Hypolimnus balina, which had a population containing 99% females. Cytoplasmic incompatibility is believed to be the most common mechanism Wolbachia used to manipulate their hosts. Cytoplasmic incompatibility is caused by the CIF A and CIF B genes, though they sometimes can be referred to as the CID genes. The mechanism for cytoplasmic incompatibility starts with CIF B causing a failure in paternal chromatin condensation and separation during the first mitosis cycle. The failure in paternal chromatin condensation is prevented if the CIF A is made by the Wolbachia in the female insect and binds to the CIF B protein. There are two types of cytoplasmic incompatibility unidirectional, where infected males mate with uninfected females, or bidirectional, matings where the male and female have different strains of Wolbachia. 